everyone, Toy Mantis here with a new uh, figure review. So, uh, Christmas came a little early, a few days. Um, I got the Crisis of Infinite Earths wave. Uh, this has Kid Flash, Superman of Earth 2, the Spectre, the Psycho Pirate. A lot of controversy with this wave because there were $40 each. I guess that's because McFarlane made them very limited. And it's a McFarlane store exclusive. Um, another controversy was that a lot of people were getting mad because they were receiving the Platinum version of Spectre. And while that figure sold out, there's no way to get the regular version. I did reach out to the McFarlane Toy Store about this. And I was uh, very fortunate for them to reply and give me the information. It took a few messages because they weren't getting the point at first. They uh, told me that there was only two Platinums from this set. Which is obviously the Spectre with the Hal Jordan, you know, where you become a Spectre. And... Psycho Pirate. Psycho Pirate is the only other Platinum in this set. Superman and Kid Flash do not have one. At least that's according from, to them. That's what they told me, that these are the only two. And uh, the only other way you'll be able to get the Platinums is, obviously, if you get the bundle, there's going to be a run fair, obviously, because they're not really posting these, and these are only McFarlane Toy Store, so... Uh, the people who got the Hal Jordan Spectre was a mistake on their end. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. Uh, so now Run Fair is going to be the way to get the Platinum uh, Spectre and Platinum Psycho Pirate. Uh, if you get the bundle, you will have the VIP priority, according to them. I don't know if that's that's going to be accurate. Obviously, I'm, it's not like I asked Todd McFarlane himself because someone else is making that decision on what to tell me. So... But I can't confirm it's Psycho Pirate Inspector, so uh, no no stress about finding like a Kingdom Come Earth 2 Superman or anything with Kid Flash. I mean, I know there was, you know, jokes about having like a smaller S symbol and such, but that's not the case. So it's just these guys. I'm going to go and take them out of the box and take a close look at them. And uh, McFarlane also threw in some comics, uh, which is the Black Manta from the Page Punchers. And then the Flashpoint Project Superman. I would have preferred to get a free figure out of it like other figure reviewers. But, um, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I, I guess I don't qualify for their end. Maybe I'm too salty on them. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm pretty fair with my review. Now, before I take these guys out of the box and start looking at them closely and give them a fair review, I hope you guys do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's go and start this review. Here are the figures outside the box. Um definitely happy with uh most of them uh but i'm gonna go over the one that i have the most problems with um and and, and this is pretty sad because this is really really uh bad and uh how i see it so i'm gonna go and focus on kid flash as of right now uh kid flash here uh i have to say is so so wrong uh, the, the, this guy is just, look, look how tall he is. This isn't a kid. Look, at, look how tall this figure is. Uh, terrible scale. I'll say that much on, on this figure. Uh, and if you're gonna pay 40 bucks, I expect a new sculpt to make sure this it's, it's even less plastic. Uh, you know, I, I, I think that could have made a little bit more, uh, better. This, this figure is just way too tall. This is insane. Um, just looking at it, it's, it's just so big. Now the hands, look at the hands. The hands are tiny. Those are extremely small hands. It's like that lawyer from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where he's got the small hands and wants to hide them. <laughs> um, this figure definitely had hands that were designed to probably go for a smaller body, but the funds ran out, which I think is BS because these were $40. Um, this is insane. Now, another gripe I have about this uh, Kid Flash is looking at the closed fists. They're not even the matching size here. Look at this. Uh, the one hand that he already had on, uh, the right, is significantly bigger than the uh, the left hand. These are actually two different sizes. It's actually a different shade of red as well. And on the inside, if you look in, there's a little painted yellow inside of the the peg here. And then here it's just pure red. 
these are totally different trying to show this the best as possible but uh yeah you could tell like that right hand is a different shade and uh i don't know if it's coming off well on camera but believe me it is bigger than the left hand mcfarland <laughs> couldn't even get the hand size right um the hands would be great for a uh, smaller kid flash i would say that much the uh I'll give him one thing. I, I I think the head sculpt's nice. It's a good looking head sculpt. Looks like you know Wally West. Uh, a, a pretty pretty decent. Um, but look how big this dude is. He's just huge. Is Kid Flash next to Mattel's version of Kid Flash and McFarlane's version of the Wally West? Uh, uh, I think it's like Rebirth or whatever. Um, as you can see. The scale is just, yeah, it's not right. But you can also tell that this version of Kid Flash is so much more bulkier, too. I I, I really wish McFarlane would invest into a, a, a smaller body to, to, to get those teen bodies. Because there's so many figures he's made that, like, would use that, you know? And for a $40 figure, I thought he would have introduced it. It was hard to tell... With, with the package pictures and everything like that um you know and the, the character was kind of crunched up in the box as well so it was really hard to tell until you got him out of the box but yeah he's he's really a, a thick tall dude so definitely a, a, the worst figure of this set for sure i'm i'm starting off bad but that's just my opinion so let's go and move up to some uh other better figures here about the specter here now he is a um a very uh, top figure in this wave. It's the only one that's sold out from the McFarlane Toy Store because, you know, it's really a high-demand character, I think. The uh, the sculpt on him is very, very nice. The the cape is very beautiful. It's, it's coming out from on the back here. You can see there's like that kind of speckles uh, in the back here. So it's uh, pretty, pretty an interesting look here. Uh, looking at the legs it's kind of like that you know it's like skin almost you know it's it's kind of a little bit rough here so i really like that it's not like some smooth base here um the head very nice now you can barely get movement on this this head here you can move it kind of a little bit but the cape you know the, the design here really prevents that from moving so um, uh, and that's just so, you know, they don't really have to break that sculpt, and I, I guess that's just the only way it would have worked. The back here, very, very nice, uh, brush here, I think it's re really, uh, good detail. Then you got the, you know, shoes here, boots, whatever you want to call it, uh, very, very nice design, get a nice kind of fabric look to it, and, um, I think the downside, I think, for this is that there's no uh, swappable hands. Uh, this is pretty much it, you know. It's, it's all focused on the figure and getting the bullet figure pieces. But I think it should have had some swappable hands. I mean, <laughs> I think there's a lot of lack uh, for, for some of these characters. That they should have had some more stuff because they're $40, you know. Um, I get it. They're a very limited run, but it's you know just something i i really think is is problematic here uh definitely love that head sculpt though i love the look of it it's it's got a nice nice paint detail uh let's put him over here and let's go and try to get a comparison here we have uh metal's version now they had a glow in the dark version uh, I, b I believe, but this is just the standard one. Uh, you know, it's very basic cape that we've seen before. You know, the head could move more though, and then it had kind of more open hands. But uh, uh, they were obviously the same uh, version. They had more of a clear face here. This one they gave you that kind of shadow over the eyes. Uh, I really like that from uh, McFarlane though. It makes it look really more. <laughs> I don't want to say menacing, but you know, just it's just really badass. Um, you know, I I definitely love the 
upgrades that we've gotten with this figure. This is definitely the the figure to get from this way psycho pirate now he's a definite uh character that matters to the infinite crisis storyline uh definitely a nice figure to get i'm i'm very excited this was another one i was very excited about getting i mean very happy about getting like unique characters that we haven't seen before so um definitely has a nice like kind of metallic look over the uh black here the red's kind of pretty matte the cape is very like soft and rubbery feeling like uh almost like those uh what is it fruit roll-ups like that kind of like texture um yeah so it, it's it's you know very very soft moving plastic more than specters the uh head sculpt has a very nice gold look to it very nice well painted I, I think this was done uh, very, very well. The uh, downside, I think, is that it doesn't have swappable hands. I, I think that would have been nice to have. I mean, you get a gripping hand for him, but you can't really do anything with that. The mask is uh, not removable. <laughs> kind of figured that. But, uh, you know, it's it's not much going on here. It's too... This is... I don't like the texture on this cape, though. I'm not a fan of it. It just feels so, I don't know. It just feels very weird to me. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I, I think this figure could have done with a little bit more, you know, um, but it, it is what it is. I guess uh, his belt is fully painted in the back because I know some ones who isn't. But uh, yeah, this is a, uh, a, a decent figure to get. I mean, if you're one who wants to really build out that, DC Universe. Uh, this one is uh, one to get. We're going to talk about the Superman here before we move on to the Build-A-Figure. Uh, this uh, Superman here has a very nice uh, new sculpt and it feels like a very thick uh, figure here. Now you can see there's like kind of creases in those pants here so it just shows like kind of like how, what kind of like suit he has. It's not like the other Supermans we've seen before. Um... You get a very ugly head sculpt here. Uh, I'm, I'll be honest. I know it's like an Earth 2 Superman and such. But I'm not digging that look. So I'm going to do some swappable heads here. Put some other Superman heads on this. Because I love the body. I think it's a great great looking body for, for this Superman. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is reused. Now, this one, you also do get the S on the back, but it's just huge. It's a big, big S. And, of course, you get the wired cape. Now, this is a more thicker uh, wire cape than that uh, Dark Knight uh, Batman, the Skydive one. Uh, this is definitely thicker. And, obviously, the cape here is, is a different uh, material here. So, uh, you don't... It's going to kind of just hold down like that you're not going to get so much but you can get some good posing there um you know get a very nice look with uh superman's cape uh from here now downside is you got <laughs> this unpainted in the back here now i know a lot of people know about this already but this is terrible like really for forty dollars, you couldn't paint the back. I mean, I I understand the cape can cover it for the most part, but it is. It's just a small little part to paint. You know, it's not the fucking end of the world, but shit, you can't do it. <laughs> oh man, then you get some open hands here for this uh, Superman. Uh, so I'm gonna go and do some comparisons and do some head swaps with this one. One thing I will say about the Superman is he's definitely taller uh, than the other Supermans. Um, you know, uh, he's definitely taller than the classic uh, version that just recently came out. Uh, the Doomsday one, I'm not too sure because I know I got some bend in his uh, knees right there. Uh, but yeah, this guy is definitely taller and, and has... I, I, I really do love the sculpt through the body, though. This is a great sculpt. I, I, I think... I think a lot of money went into the Superman here. Um, it's just... 
I, I, I would have liked it to have gone to Kid Flash too, but um, I, I, th I think he did a, a great job with the body. The head swaps with the uh, DC Classic version. <laughs> um, obviously, it looks way too stumpy here, and yeah, that, that's just very weird. Um, this one isn't so bad. It's just it makes his neck look really long. But it, it it the skin tone is perfect though. You get a really good skin tone there. So that that does kind of work. It's just it's a smaller head and yeah, it just looks kind of a little bit odd. Finally, uh, we are going to talk about the build a figure here, the monitor. Um, again, I'm happy to get new characters. I, I I love getting that. So I was very happy about the build a figure being someone new, someone we haven't really ever had. Uh, so I'm gonna go and look at the figure up close now so definitely has the nice mutton chops here uh nice detail on the head sculpt i i think the head sculpt is a fantastic look then on the back here really really good look here the cape uh goes in very nicely uh with the build the figure uh, it, there's like holes on the on the chest and such uh, you you can connect them in fairly easy, and I was worried it was going to be like pushing out, but it, that doesn't seem to be a problem. It's uh, very flush to the figure. Um, I'm I'm digging the black and the blue, the the gauntlets and the boots. That yellow, I just feel like should have had more of a shine to them. They look very cheap and bland to me. It's not it's not it's not the end of the world, but it's just not great either then you got the gray here there's not much going on here uh then the gold on those shoulder pads and on the center of the belt that looks pretty good like that looks pretty nice um then on the back you have the cape very very nice uh texture and it's very like bright uh pink maybe a little purple but uh then looking up in the back here you can see these uh, kind of just plug in very nicely. But not much else is really going on here. The figure has some pretty good articulation. You can move him very well. There's no real hinder movement from how his uh, sculpt is or anything. Uh, it's a very, very nice figure to actually to have. I actually like this a lot more than I initially thought I uh, would. I would have uh, liked to have seen couple other things with him like swappable hands i mean that's just how i feel about everything really um you know but it is what it is so let's go and see him next to his counterpart monitor next to the anti-monitor uh you know so it, it, it looks great by each other but you know I, I, the scale is so off with the anti-monitor mcfarland should have done a 12 figure subscription thing on his store to build a giant anti-monitor. That's just maybe my own opinion. But the, that figure needed to be much bigger than what this is. Uh, so hopefully we do see that in the future. But I mean right now we're just going to deal with this. Uh, but I, I, I really like the monitor here. I think that's a great figure to have. Uh, and it really I like this because it really builds your DC collection out more. Well uh, that is it for this uh, figure review. I mean... Uh, from this order, I'm going to say Spectres, number one, then the Monitor, then Superman, then Psycho Pirate, then Kid Flash last. Uh, I don't have, I don't have an issue with McFarlane making a $40 figure and making it where it's only on his store and you get what you can, right? And, and as long as it's, you know, you're getting those unique characters that, you know, would probably not sell in store. However, Spectre would have sold in store. That that's BS. I, I don't think that this figure wasn't necessary for this uh, wave, but that was just a sell point, I think, for his part. But like Psycho Pirate, I get. You know, I, I I that would sit on shelves for a while, I imagine. But McFarlane needs to throw more in for these figures, and a more of a unique sculpt because. Really, the only people who had unique sculpts was Spectre, Superman, and the build the figure of course. But, you know, uh, Psycho Pirate and Kid Flash, you know, maybe there's a little bit of uniqueness to Kid Flash, but it was just scaled horribly. 
scaled horribly. Uh, that that could have done so much better. Um, and that's just it's a downside, it really is. So um, hopefully McFarland kind of learns from that experience. Like, hopefully he just doesn't hear what other people just constantly say good things. I wanted to hear those bad things too. I hope that we do see you know i'm sure we'll see another wave like this again uh where you pay 40 bucks you know it's an experiment but i want to see more out of that 40 dollars because uh to me no these are still in that 25 dollar range for for a standard bill figure reason and i obviously they're they're not making as much so i get it gotta go up a little bit but you know maybe 35 35 i think would have been an okay pass but you know, it, with the shipping on top of it, it's, yeah, it's it's not great. I'd like to see them do uh, more, so we'll 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 see how it turns out in the end. But that is all I have to say, guys. So I hope you did enjoy this video. So if you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video out there, and uh, you know, thank you guys again for watching. And let me know in the comments what do you think about these figures.